Star Wars 7x7 episode 1827. Today, let's do an update on the rise of Skywalker. Let's go. Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode where we're going to talk about the rise of Skywalker because we're going to talk about Daisy Ridley because Daisy Ridley's talking about the rise of Skywalker because Daisy Ridley's talking about Ophelia, which is her new movie that's coming out before the rise of Skywalker, obviously. And so, as we know from many, many years of doing this, that any time you put a Star Wars actor on a press tour to talk about some other movie, everyone's going to ask about the Star Wars movie that they're working on. And of course, this is the case with Daisy and Ophelia. So I wanted to share with you a couple of excerpts from interviews she did. One of them was with USA Today, and she was asked specifically about The Rise of Skywalker and about it feeling like a different kind of film. And she was also asked a question about the mystery of Ray's parents. As far as sort of genre-wise, at least this is how Daisy Ridley put it, the question was asked of her, The Force Awakens was a familiar, fun reintroduction to the Star Wars universe while The Last Jedi was a darker, riskier installment. How does The Rise of Skywalker compare? Ridley says, Genre-wise, it's different from the other two, which will become clear when the film comes out. It's quite emotional. There's a different drive than the previous two films, but there's a lot of fun. I really missed John Boyega during the last one, but we're back together, and now Oscar Isaac is a part of it. To me, it felt like kids going on an adventure. And later, she's asked about the question of the parents, and she says, director J.J. Abrams did say the question is answered, so at the end of the film, you do know what the dealio is. And that one is very much in keeping with what J.J. Abrams said at Celebration Chicago when he was asked about Ray's parents and if we were to find out more about it, and he said that they would honor what happened in episode eight, but that there is definitely more to the story, and that's pretty much how the question is asked of Daisy in this case, is there more to the story? And she says, yeah, you'll find out what the dealio is, which presumably means that we'll also find out why she was abandoned <laughs> to Uncar Plutt at five years old. Who knows? Maybe she wasn't abandoned. Maybe she was just having a bad memory of being left behind with an awful babysitter or something like that. Ugh. Anyway, um, another interview that Daisy Ridley did was for the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast with Josh Horowitz from MTV. And I'm going to play you an excerpt where she talks about fighting with Kylo Ren. So we have a great fight. A great fight. And I was really happy that the Vanity Fair pictures did show a bit of it. Yeah. Um, it's a great fight. <laughs> like, I've become such a better fighter. And they made the lightsabers lighter. So, you know, it actually looks like we're swinging light and not like heavy, heavy... Um, have you seen a cut of that at all? Have you seen a little bit of what that looks like? I have. Because, I mean... I have. The scene with you in Last Jedi is one of my favorites of the all of the, all the saga films. Yeah. If, if this compares that to that one, I'm in. That felt pretty cool. And also, that was really hard because everything had to match up. The amount of times we did, there's a, like a dolly shot coming through and then it ends with me. And I think I was fighting James at the time, who's a stuntman with the two swords. Mm -hmm. It was so tiring. We did like 25 takes because if one thing was off, we had to keep going. But I was like really proud of that fight. This fight we did, um, it was November. We were had water being thrown at us. And I got a great deal of respect because I did not. I was like, I'm not going to complain about the cold. I'm just not going to do it. So it was like a real thing of stamina. And it just felt, it feels really epic. And it felt epic even at the time. So I thought, well, imagine, you know, we yeah. had the waves like this. And then they get up make the waves, I'm sure, bigger. <laughs> so one can only imagine what it's going to look like. And I will say that just because they're fighting, for everybody who is hoping that Kylo Ren and Rey somehow end up in a relationship together by the end of this movie, the fact that they're fighting doesn't necessarily mean that they're not going to end up in some sort of relationship. Uh, I'm personally, I will say, I'm not in the boat for saying I hope that Kylo and Rey get together by the end of this movie, but I know there is a significant group of people who do want to see that, and in fact, who say that this is coming, that this is actually a trope within Asian movies where these two types of characters characters actually end up being together romantically. So yeah, that's something that we'll have to see how it unfolds in December. I've got one other thing for you that I'm going to share with you after the break, so stay tuned.
This episode is brought to you by Constant Contact, the premier email marketing solution for small businesses and organizations. I've used their service since 2003, and over the past decade and a half, I've watched them evolve, make the product simpler, more powerful, easy to use, and do everything that they can to help train people to use the product more effectively and for it to work with other forms of marketing like social media, for example. So check out sw7x7.com slash email to learn more about Constant Contact and start a free trial. Once again, that is sw7x7.com slash email for a free trial. Welcome back. So we are now at 168 days until the debut of The Rise of Skywalker in theaters on December 20th. Uh, maybe 167 because of Thursday night premieres. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. And later this month, we're actually only about uh, two weeks away from San Diego Comic-Con and any reveals that might come up during that event, even when they didn't do a Hall H presentation for a Star Wars movie, their presence at San Diego Comic-Con has often included something of interest and something new being revealed, so we'll be keeping on top of that for you. I will not be at San Diego Comic-Con, but I will be watching the news like a hawk and ready to report it to you right away here on Star Wars 7x7. And that is going to do it for this episode today. Thank you so much for joining me for it as always and may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be this podcast is not endorsed or sponsored yet by lucas limited disney or 20th century fox it is intended for entertainment and information purposes only star wars the star wars logo all names and pictures of star wars characters vehicles and any other related star wars items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of lucas limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders may the force be with them all original content is copyright 2019 by star wars 7x7 we hope you love it